Kishimoto Sensei joining us. Um, also with us, uh, Mari, who is going to be translating, uh, Mr. Otsuki, who is Kishimoto Sensei's editor in Japan, and also uh, Urian Brown. Thank you all for for joining us. And uh, Urian, uh, before we kind of get started, if you want to introduce yourself. All right, my name is Urian Brown. I work at shonenjump.com, and I am freaking out! <laughs> I'm on the same stage as Masashi Kishimoto! Can you pinch me to see if I'm not trapped in a genjutsu? <laughs> okay, this is oh. All right, this is real. Pinch, the pinch happened. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, uh, I mean, I feel like this man needs no introduction. So what I would love to do is if you are a fan uh, of, of Naruto as much as I am, if you would actually just stand and give this individual a round of applause for the amazing things that he has brought to us creatively. Um, as you guys probably know, uh, Naruto is, is the best-selling uh, U.S. manga of all time. And, uh, of course, the celebration of the conclusion as Volume 72 is recently released. And we, uh, we have Kishimoto-sensei who is going to be answering a few questions uh, that we put together. So, first off, thank you, everyone. And uh, Ki uh, Kishimoto-sensei, this is your first uh, con outside of Japan. So, everyone wants to know, you know, what do you, what do you think so far? What do you... Do you like New York? And do you like New York Comic Con? ニューヨークは来て初日にあのヤンキース対アストロを見てヤンキース負けたのでちょっと辛かったっていう印象とあとそうですね I have to say that on the first day after I arrived from Japan, or on the day that I arrived from Japan, in fact, I got to go to the Yankees game when they played against the Astros, but they lost, so I'm sad. <laughs> and, you know, this is only my third day, so I don't know if I really have a strong opinion yet on New York, and this is actually the first time I'm seeing my fans at Comic-Con, so I'm really excited. Well, I have a question about the fans then. Yes. Uh, the uh, question is, is like obviously just seeing, uh, I see several characters out here that are certainly recognizable. What has been the most surprising thing uh, about the fans here in the United States for you? あれで、え、触れ合った時は、あの、すごい、コアな方が多いなっていう、すごく読み込んでるな、読まれてるなって思いましたね。あと、テンションが高いとか、熱い人が多いっていう。so I have to say, um, I did have one Comic-Con related event yesterday at the Apple Store in Soho. And it really, uh, I was amazed to see how hardcore some of the fans were, how much really small details they still were aware about, and how very passionate they were about my work. And Urian, like, you know the U.S. Naruto fan base pretty well. Uh, you're able to go to these conventions uh, quite frequently. And uh, what did you think Kishimoto Sensei's reception was going to be to the U.S. fan base? Because I see how crazy and hardcore it is all the time. Is that kind of what you expected? I think, uh, yes, I definitely knew people would be extremely excited. And it is one of the most successful manga creators of all time coming to America. Like, when Naruto first came out 15 years ago in America in Weekly Shonen Jump issue number two, it was an immediate hit. And then soon after, the Cartoon Network started running the anime, and then it completely blew up. And it's one of those few Japanese titles that managed, managed to penetrate mainstream consciousness, meaning non-anime fans fell in love with it and started liking anime. And that's a very, very difficult thing to do, to, cre to create a story that's so compelling People from all over the world, from numerous cultures, can identify with it and fall in love with it. And so that's, uh, I knew fans here would be stoked. 
So uh, with, with that being said, uh, Kishimoto-sensei, you know, the, popular, uh, the popularity of Naruto is, you know, it's global. It's not just here in the United States and Japan. It's, it's all over. Um, the, you know, what is it like to have fans and have that global penetration with, as you mentioned, story and art that it relates regardless of what culture you live in, of what country you might live in, et cetera? でまあ、ナルトはまさにあのアメリカ、日本だけでなくもう国際規模で大人気の作品となりましたがこの先生があの手がけたストーリーキャラクターたちそして素晴らしい背景を大好きなファンが世界中にいるというのはどういうご感想ですかどういう気持ちですか、えーとまあ、まず嬉しいっていうのと,、えー、とまだ信じてませんそれは嬉しいんですけど本当なのって本当っていう。I, I wanna... Let you know, I am very, very happy to hear how many people love my work and from so many places, but I still can't really believe it. I mean, <laughs> it, it hasn't quite sunk in yet. Well, we're gonna, I'm sure, as you are, you know, here throughout New York Comic Con, you're gonna、uh, get a, a healthy dose of,、uh, you know, love from the fans, and, and hopefully that'll help it sink in a little bit.、Um, it, Do you have any idea, Kishimoto sensei, why you think Naruto resonates with such a massive audience across the globe? Well, but why do you think so many of the fans of the culture are interested in this culture? Yes, in fact, if you live in any country, you can do it well, but if you don't do it well, you can do it well. Naruto is a good thing, but if you don't do it well, you can do it well. 主人公なんで、そこにみんな共感してくれたのかなっていうふうに思ってます。Well, I think it's、uh, a lot of it has to do with the fact that in the end, no matter where you live or who you are, you run into obstacles sometime in your life. In fact, sometimes many times in your life. And that's the, one of the main themes of Naruto as well. He encounters these obstacles and he finds out some way to overcome them. And I think that's why fans, no matter what race, what country, what nationality, what ethnicity, Can relate to that because it's, it's a global theme. Sure. I have a theory too. The main character is a kid who sucks at school and always gets in trouble. <laughs> I think people can relate to that. Yeah, I, I bet. I know I did. <laughs>、uh, well, then let's continue on because one of the big themes of you know, the Naruto celebrations has been to you know, talk to fans about what their favorite moments were, whether it be in Naruto or in Shippuden.、Um, so I'm dying to know, and I'm sure several other folks out here are, is you know, would you share with us your Favorite moment from the entirety of the series? Well, in Naruto, I'm going to say that 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 ナルトのところが好きです倒れててるところですね。I have to say that if I had, it's really hard, but if I had to name one scene that was my particular favorite, it was towards the end、um, in, in chapter 698, where Naruto and Sasuke are at the end of their battle. They've both fallen down and they're both lying on their backs on the ground together. Um, uh, Mr. Otsuki,、uh, do you have a favorite moment to share with us? What's the name of the name? I have a favorite moment to share with us. I have a favorite moment to share with us. I have a favorite moment to share with us. I have a favorite moment to share with us. I have a favorite moment to share with us. I have a favorite moment to share with us. I have a favorite moment to share with us. Well, I, I originally would have said the same as Sensei and say <laughs> that scene where Naruto and Sasuke have both collapsed. But since he already stole my idea, and he is sensei, so I have to allow him to do that.、Um, if I had to mention another one, it'd be the scene when Guy, Mike Guy, opens the, unleashes the eighth gate.、Mm. <laughs> Some fans of that moment as well.、Yeah. well, well the, well, <laughs> the part where Sasuke and Naruto have their final battle that makes it particularly interesting to me is both their arms are cut off! There's a bunch of blood! And so now they're, they're, their blood kind of makes like a heart almost. And now they're like, they fought so hard, they punched their arms off. So that's、uh, fighting for real. That's fighting for real.、Um, now, I love bad guys. 
I absolutely love bad guys. And I feel like you have given me some of my favorite bad guys over a long period of time. So who is your favorite bad guy in the Naruto universe? まあ、自分自身も,あのもう悪役が大好きなんですけど、はい、特にナルトの悪役がその中でも特に好きなキャラクターが多いので僕が知りたいのは先生が一番お好きなお気に入りなナルトの悪役は誰でしょうかヒダンが好きです。ヒダン。So,、uh, what do you feel is the secret to creating a successful bad guy? じゃあその出来のいてたおかしいかもしれませんけど、そういういいかっこいい悪役キャラクターを作る秘訣とかなんですか。すね、なんかなんでそういう悪いことをするのかっていうところを、そういう風になっちゃったのかっていうところを考えてから書くと結構あ味があるキャラクターができるっていう。I think the most important thing is to always、uh, come up with a really good backstory. So why is this person doing what they're doing? And how did they get to that stage of doing these evil things? Great. So,、um, is there one character that you have truly enjoyed writing or drawing over the run of Naruto and Shippuden? Is there one、um, you know, that, that really kind of every time you got to express with this character or you know,、uh, you know, create art around the character that, that it truly spoke to you? So, I have to say that I always had fun drawing Naruto during the harem jutsu. You know? <laughs> sexy no jutsu. The art of the sexy or sexy jutsu. And、um, the other thing that I had a lot of fun, or other beings I had a lot of fun drawing, were the bijou, the tailed beasts. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely.、Um, so, one other thing that, is,、uh, that has come out of the Naruto universe, of course, is、uh, the long series of video games that.、Uh, Have really brought Shippuden and Naruto to life.、Um, how is it seeing your creations you know, come to life、uh, as also a video game? <laughs> I have to say that、um, you know, when I actually saw the final product, I was so impressed by the, the quality of the game that I actually was a little jealous. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, uh, do, you, you know, do you actually have、uh, much involvement in, you know, in those games? Would you like to one day maybe work on a video game like that? まあ、販売されてるゲームで先生は直接関わったゲームとかありますでしょうか、えーとまあ、一応ちょっとずつキャラデザインとかしますから大体関わってるのはあります。Well, はい、technically, yes, I've been involved in the games, but mostly in the sense that I,、um, I offered or tendered character designs for them. Okay, great.、Um, uh, so I have a, a, a couple more questions. We have a few more minutes.、Um, Do you have a favorite jutsu? <laughs> you mean for him to perform? Or? Well, no, just a favorite, you know. <laughs> you do jutsu? Yeah. Yeah, so, 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 <laughs> the one that I'd love to perform if I could ever perform ninjutsu would be the multiple shadow doppelgangers.、Yeah. The only reason why was because then it would be so quick to finish a script every week. <laughs> But in reality, I actually hate that jutsu. 
because drawing it is a pain. Because <laughs> you have to draw all the little characters. It's a、right. lot of work. I have a quick question.、Uh, you said your favorite villain was、uh, Hidan. Why Hidan? Why Hidan? Hidan, I don't know. 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 So I have to say, in part, I think it's his many abilities and the fact that he's, he's very strong, but also、um, perhaps that、uh, he doesn't die.、Mm. And.、Um, I feel that something that I wish I could learn from her, or that I feel that I might be a lot alike with Hidan, is that when he gets cornered, he fights back.、Mm. I have a follow up question.、Uh, speaking of never dying, can Orochimaru ever really be killed? Well, that is kind of what I had in mind when I created him.、Mm. Is that, yeah, he, he will he'll still be around when, when the rest of the world is, is gone. <laughs> so it's going to be him. <laughs> Especially because, you know, well, actually, maybe that won't work because he does need a new body to、oh, yeah. switch into. Right. But、um, he'll, he'll outlast most of us. <laughs> Orochimaru's my number one villain. I love him. He's. I love him. He's. I love him. He's. <laughs> Although he's kind of weird. I know. <laughs> but the tongue, it, like, what is it? What about him? Great, I don't know. He's so <laughs> menacing. He is, you know, you love to hate him.、Yeah. That's why I think there's <laughs> a good. <laughs> yeah.、Um, one of the other exciting things during、uh, this year's New York Comic Con, during the Naruto celebration, is that there's been a lot of cosplay, a lot of amazing cosplay that I've seen. We actually, tomorrow or, or later on this weekend, have a Naruto only sort of cosplay. But I wanted to ask Kishimoto sensei and anyone else on the panel what is. Is the best cosplay that you've ever seen that came from the Naruto universe? Well, I'm not going to go to the Naruto Comic Con, but I'm going to go to the Naruto Comic Con. I'm going to go to the Naruto Comic Con. I'm going to go to the Naruto Comic Con. I'm going to go to the Naruto Comic Con. I'm going to go to the Naruto Comic Con. I'm going to go to the Naruto Comic Con. I'm going to go to the Naruto Comic Con. I'm going to go to the Naruto Comic Con. I'm going to go to the Naruto Comic Con. I'm going to go to the Naruto Comic Con. ナルト But I, you know, there are definitely a lot of Naruto's out there, and there are a lot of good Naruto's out there. Yeah, there, there are quite a few.、Uh, we only have time for a few more questions.、Um, I do want to ask、uh, Mr. Otsuki、um, you know, can you explain a little bit what your role、uh, as editor is to Kishimoto sensei? じゃあ、あの担当編集者としてのお仕事、はい、まあ役割に関してちょっと述べてもらえますか。あの、えー、ナルトに、ナルトに関して、してはい、はいえー。まず打ち合わせをして、その週の、えー、少年ジャンプに掲載される内容っていうのを、えー、まあ二人で話し合って、で、まあその打ち合、まあだいたいこういう内容にしようっていうのをまあ決めます。で、その決めた後に、えー、先生のがその打ち合わせを元にして、えー、ネームっていうのを書くのでそのネームをまた見せてもらって、まあ、そこでもまた打ち合わせをしますでそこではあの細かいセリフの変更であったり、まあ、やっぱりああしようであったりこうしようであったり、まあ、そこで基本的にあの皆さんが目にされるあのナルトの内容に関してはほぼ決まりですで、えーまあ、そのいった打ち合わせと、まあ、その後先生に原稿を書いていただくんですけどその原稿をあのが上がったら、えー、いただいてその、まあ、印刷所に
持って,って長い長い機会な感じです。はい、長すぎて。So actually, it starts off where I have a meeting, and it's a weekly series, so this is the same thing happens every week. But I first hold a meeting with Kishimoto Sensei where we talk about what we're going to do for that week, what the story is, what the general flow is. And then, based on that, I have Sensei draw a draft, a very, very rough draft, and then have him show it to me. And we have another meeting where we start nailing down the final details, especially、um, in terms of、uh, the, the actual panel layout. And dialogue, any text, etc. So at that point, even though it still kind of looks like a sketch, it looks almost close to what, you actually, what the readers will actually see in the end. And then from that, he will do the actual draft inking. And once he's done,、uh, I go and pick up the, that chapter from him, the pages, and bring it to the printer. Thank you for the explanation. Thank you for the explanation. Um, all right,、uh, one final question because we're in New York and I know that you love ninjas.、Uh, are you happen, or do you happen to be a fan of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? And if so, <laughs> you know, which is your favorite? I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say I, I used to play the video game, in fact. Ah, so, you know, the, we can still maybe get a Naruto Ninja Turtles crossover. So, Naruto to Ningame no crossover no Hanashika, Kano de Shoka. Yeah, well, so now Hanashika, that's good to be watching. Well, if such an offer were to ever come my way, I think I'd jump on it. There you go. You heard it here. 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 I mean, I've watched the movies and I really enjoy the movies too. So. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen,、uh, Naruto Volume 72 is available at your local bookstore, your comic shop, or of course, viz.com. Please, can we give one resounding thank you to Kishimoto Sensei and everyone here? It's an absolute honor to、uh, have you all up on this stage. Thank you so much. I hope the rest of your、thank、Comic you. Con goes great. And one last time, Kishimoto Sensei. Thank you very much. We'll see you.